My name is Edmund Boateng. I'm with the S3 team and I've been in AWS for about four years. I entered AWS as a security officer and during my time as a security officer, I found some of my friends that were already in AWS. So I spoke to my friends and figured out how can I get in as an AWS employee myself. And then they told me that I need to study a few things. So I went ahead and did some classes and got myself ready and went for an interview. And I was able to get myself into a contract position. So I did that for about 11 months until I got an offer to become a full-time Amazonian. My first blue badge role was a network technician in the data centers. My role was to deploy network rooms. After two years, I was at an impasse and I didn't know what to do next because I felt like I pretty much knew everything about a network team. So I spoke to my manager about my opportunities and what I can do in the company because I wanted to leave the company. My manager then told me there is no need for you to leave because there are other opportunities in the company. And then my manager introduced the AWS intelligence team for me. I did a few research to find out what it really was. And then I realized that it's actually a great program. They actually take technicians like myself from the data centers or outside of Amazon and train them to make them service ready for service teams inside AWS. Four years ago, I never imagined that I'll find myself as an S3 engineer in AWS. And this is all thanks to AWS intelligence. My biggest learning along the way is that never ever feel scared to take risk because bigger risk comes with bigger rewards. And with that, I will encourage everyone out there to always chase your dreams because you will never know what can come at the end of the tunnel.